Hello friends, my name is Dr. Piru Dawan, and today in this video, I will tell you about the causes of kidney failure. Generally, when we see that the level of creatinine is increasing in a patient, they consider it a kidney failure without knowing its main cause. And since a kidney never fails without a reason, it gets more important to understand its causes in order to start the right treatment. On the basis of causes of kidney failure, there is a classification of CKD, chronic kidney disease. Let's suppose the kidney is failing just because of high BP. This condition is known as ischemic nephropathy or hypertensive nephropathy. And if the kidney is failing just because of a high sugar level in your blood, that condition is known as diabetic nephropathy. So to control the level of creatinine in a kidney failure patient, we have to work on the cause of the kidney failure first. Because once this cause of the kidney failure comes under control, the level of creatinine stop increasing, then only we can bring down the level of creatinine and urea in a patient. So let's start the video and try to understand the different causes of kidney failure and its classification. 40% of cases of kidney failure are caused by high BP, and another 40% of cases of kidney failure are caused by high sugar levels, which means diabetes, which means 80% of all cases of kidney failure are caused by either diabetes or hypertension. So, it's very important to understand these two major causes of kidney failure. Other causes of kidney failure are egg and nephropathy polycystic kidney, and lupus nephritis. We will discuss all these disorders later in another video. So, let's start with hypertensive nephropathy. When the level of blood pressure remains high for a longer period, it may cause kidney damage and now the question arises of why this happens. When your BP is high, that means the blood which is entering the kidney for filtration also comes with high pressure and because of this pressure, there is its impact on the small and delicate blood vessels. Because this impact happens each and every second when your heart beat the cells, which make these blood vessels start changing and become hard and thick so that they can take the impact of BP and survive. But during this process, the lumen size of these blood vessels also decreases. That means blood carrying capacity of blood vessels decreases. Now it can carry a lesser amount of blood into the kidney for filtration. When the amount of the blood decreases, that means less amount of oxygen will be available to the cell of the kidney in this response. Kidney ask for more blood from the heart, and for that heart has to increase the blood pressure further. And this becomes a vicious cycle in which kidney loses its functions to filter out creatinine and urea and other waste material from the body resulting in a higher level of creatinine urea in the blood of the patient. Now the question arises of how we gonna make a diagnosis for hypertensive nephropathy if a patient has a history of prolonged hypertension and ultrasound shows that the size of both kidneys is now smaller and echogenicity of the kidney has been increased with loss of cortex, medulla differentiation that means in that particular case of kidney failure, hypertension is the main cause. Now let's move to diabetes and try to understand how diabetes affects the functioning of the kidney. When the level of blood sugar increases because of the non-functioning of insulin, the blood which enters the kidney also contains high sugar levels. Because of high blood sugar levels, first kidney has to work extra because the kidney has it function to excrete all the extra amount of sugar through urine to protect other vital organs from a toxic level of sugar in the blood. Secondly, the kidney has to work extra in an environment in which there is a high sugar level which affects each and every cell of the nephron and ultimately results in a gradual decrease in the level of the functioning of the kidney resulting in a higher level of creatinine and urea in the blood. If a patient with diabetes also has hypertension in those cases, kidney takes double damage and loses its function rapidly. Again, the question arises of how we going to diagnose that diabetes is the main culprit of kidney failure in a particular case. For that, we need a medical history of the patient. If the patient is hyperdiabetic, that means a patient is suffering from high sugar levels for a prolonged period, and an ultrasound of the patient shows that the kidney size is normal, but the ecogeny of the kidney is increased. That means the kidney is losing its functions just because of diabetes. Now, if you know the cause of kidney failure, the treatment becomes easy because now you can control the cause of kidney failure when the cause that means the root of the disease comes to the control that means there will be no further damage to the kidney. 
and if there is no further damage to the kidney, that means they will be no further elevation in the Create 9 level and Urea level. Once the levels of Create 9 and Urea come into control, then only we can bring the level of Create 9 and Urea down, which will I will explain in another video. Other than this, hypertension nephropathy and diabetic nephropathy are a few more types of kidney failure, which are considered genetic disorders. As I told you earlier, I'm going to name a few of these disorders again. First is IgA nephropathy. Second is polycystic kidney lupus nephritis. If you are a patient with one of these disorders, I will make a separate video to explain how your kidney got damaged because of these disorders, but for now, I hope you have understood what are the major causes of kidney failure and how they damage the kidney. If you have any questions regarding the new file, you can contact our doctors on the number given below, or you can directly drop your query in the comment section. I hope this video was helpful to you. I will come up with another informative video soon. Till then, you guys stay healthy and happy. Thank you so much for joining me.